Well, one of the things uh, th th that we do in the book is to lay out what we call the challenges that higher education faces. One of the challenges is, the, is inherent in the nature of the industry. It's why college cost tends to rise more rapidly than the overall price index. Uh, sometimes that's called cost disease. And it's a disease that's driven by the kinds of technological improvements that are raising living standards over time. Um, most service industries, higher education, medicine, legal services, getting your hair cut, um, most service industries, personal service industries, have costs that rise more rapidly than inflation because these are industries that are largely immune to um, cost-reducing technological change. It's hard to get the labor out. This is a big problem when it's compounded by changes in the distribution of income. If you go back to the middle of the 20th century, essentially the period between maybe 1940 and 1980. Uh, incomes were much more bunched in the middle. We were the true middle class society. Since about 1980, that income distribution has really gotten stretched out. Most of the income gains over the past 40 years have gone to the top half of the income distribution. And in fact, they've gone to the top 5%. Uh, the incomes of somebody at the bottom quartile of the income distribution have remained largely unchanged for 50 years, despite the fact that the cost of many of the uh, major services like higher education have gone up over time. So this is what leads um, underprivileged people coming into school to be far needier than they were in the past. And this has uh, ripple effects on how colleges price, how much debt uh, students have to take out, uh, and, and these things are placing great strains on a particular slice of the higher education sector. The colleges that are in deeper trouble are the colleges that serve the nation's most underprivileged students. Our, one of our fears is that um, the kind of education that is most likely to improve social mobility, to launch students who come from the bottom of the income distribution toward the middle or the upper end of the income distribution. That kind of uh, high-touch, face-to-face education is increasingly likely to be reserved for students of wealth and privilege, or what we could call a cognitive elite, the, the best of the best. But the bulk of America's students, frankly, are average. Most of us are average. The bulk of America's students need something that uh, that the, the schools that the bulk of America's students are going to uh, find increasingly difficult to offer because of things like substantial cutbacks in state support um, and uh, the failure of federal support in things like Pell Grants to keep up even with inflation. If you look at the amount of spending per student at uh, at the elite institutions in this, in this nation. The amount of spending is a factor of 20 times higher than the amount of spending at the institutions where students with the greatest need tend to cluster.